In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what you can do with some of the ambiances in Q. There's an entire folder of ambient chordal pads, another of pedal steel ambiances, and a couple of folders of multi-layer dreamscapes and drones. Let's take a look at the pedal steel ambiances first. I'm just going to give you a flavor of what these sound like. Many of them are multi-tonal, and they have multiple notes going in and out of them, so we did our best to give you an idea in the file name of the kind of quarter interval you might expect in it. We also always tried to center the samples on the keyboard where they would be most musically useful. So if I play a middle C, the tonal center is C even when there's multiple notes added to it. Take a listen to a minor chord, for example. Playing C gives me C minor, G gives me G minor, and so on, even though it's the same sample being triggered. And then I can layer from there. Contact now has the ability to easily assign MIDI CCs to cue features. So you can do things like this. Maybe I'll activate the filter. It's already darker than it was, but I'll right click on its cutoff frequency, learn MIDI CC automation, and then all I have to do is jiggle my mod wheel, for example, and now my mod wheel can control the filter cutoff. Instantly, that slider is controlled by my mod wheel, so I can play it in real time. Ambient chordal pads are very similar to the pedal steel ambiances, except they're more synth-based. Moving over to the drones, We've included a nice selection of multi-layer drones and dreamscapes. These work very similarly to the other ambiances, except they're multi-layered. In addition to the effects tab that's common to all Q instruments, they feature an extra tab called Layer Control, which lets you independently adjust volume, pan, tuning, and envelope of each layer independently. Just like with the ambiances, you can also assign any knob to the mod wheel or any other knob or slider on your MIDI controller. All of these patches can be really useful for ambient music beds, especially if you put a nice rhythmic loop over them and maybe a solo instrument. They're great for nature scenes, reflective moments, and so on. 